Hey there, how's it going? Got a minute to talk about controllers? Well, playing on a PC is great when it comes to choosing how to control your games. You have the classic keyboard and mouse set, controllers, joysticks, fight sticks, and all kinds of crazy contraptions. And basically, with a bit of tinkering, you can play any game with whatever you want. But let's be honest, some games can be a real nightmare when you choose anything else than a controller. Or let's say you just got a shiny new controller and need a list of the best games to test this bad boy out on. Look no further. Here's our list of the top 10 best PC games that play better with a controller. Number 1. Tekken 7 on one hand, in this particular case, for the experience closest to the real arcade, you'd probably want to choose a fight stick. Still, lots of Tekken pros prefer to use a controller, and they use it, well, like a pro. Just look at those crazy combos. You see them? They look super complicated, don't you think? And that's because they're actually really hard to pull off. Now imagine playing this game with a keyboard. It'll probably break in half in no time. Tekken, and generally most of the fighting games, are just better with a controller. Number 2. Super Meat Boy When a game greets you with a warning like this, you should know that it's no joke. You better dust off your controller and plug it in. Super Meat Boy is as fun as it is hard. This hardcore platformer requires inhuman precision and nerves of steel. Just do yourself a favor. The game is super fun unless you want to find out how it'll control with a keyboard. That it simply hurts. Number 3. Cuphead This sweet-looking game, heavily inspired by 1930s cartoons, is actually a depressing tale about two buddies with a serious gambling addiction. One day they hit a new low by selling their souls to the devil. Aside from the pretty dark story, the game's jam-packed with hardcore run-and-gun sections and hard-as-nails boss fights that can cause some serious pain between your butt cheeks unless… Unless you use the controller, of course. It's still hard. I mean, some of the game journalists couldn't even get past the tutorial, but it's so much fun. Just try it. Number 4. Dark Souls 3 Or Dark Souls series in general, also Sekiro, oh, and probably Elden Ring. Hell, any modern from software games. Ah, Dark Souls, the series that broke so many hearts and wrists of people trying to play it with a keyboard and mouse. On the other hand, you've probably seen some pros beating the game with steering wheels, drums, guitar hero guitars, and whatnot. You might think, what's wrong with the keyboard then? I can do it. Don't do it though. This game is hard and will crush you again and again. And other people, they will invade you and they will have no mercy. Just get good using a controller. Number 5. FIFA 22 All those memes with broken controllers while playing FIFA. Have you ever seen a meme with a keyboard? Probably not. FIFA just plays better with the gamepad. It's one of those facts you don't argue with. I mean, if you want to get into the more nuanced mechanics and show your friends how it's done, if you want to see that hopelessness in their faces when you score yet another goal, just choose a controller and stick with it. Number 6. Monster Hunter Rise Another Monster Hunter game hits PC, but don't even think about trying it with your good old mouse and keyboard combo. Believe me, this control scheme is pretty specific and requires some time to get used to, even with a controller. But once you get the hang of it, the game is super fun and satisfying. Those big monsters are no joke, and they will beat you up and throw you all over the place. But in the end, you'll be the one wearing the armor made out of them. Who's laughing now, Almadron, you long-tailed bastard? Number 7. Hades Imagine having Hades as your old man. You're all grown up, want to see the world, but he's like, uh-uh, over my dead body. And now you have to beat his ass to escape from the underworld. This critically acclaimed roguelike is just packed with action and satisfying fights with numerous mobs in pretty tight spaces. There's a lot of dodging and strafing required to stay alive. The game's great. It totally lives up to the hype. But for the best experience, you might want to play it with your controller. Number 8. Hollow Knight Hollow Knight is considered to be one of the very best Metroidvanias out there, and we hope that by the time you watch this video, Silk Song's finally out, because just how long can you wait? Also, Hollow Knight is hard as nails. It's not only the challenging boss fights, not to mention the super challenging optional bosses, but also the tricky platforming parts that require you to be pretty precise. You want to feel the satisfaction of nailing all those jumps, and for that, you need a controller. Number 9. Nier Automata This game hits hard, and it hits by surprise. 
I suppose that after seeing the action-heavy trailers and pieces of gameplay, you wouldn't expect the story to be that deep and even depressing. It's very good! But let's talk about the controls. And here, aside from the fast-paced fights, the game tends to shift mechanics from time to time. There are those top-down shooter moments and even bullet hell segments, and those play wonderfully with a controller. Number 10. Devil May Cry 5 Devil May Cry series is known for its over-the-top flashy combos and nuanced combat system. The latest entry to the famous Capcom franchise is no different. It's just non-stop action, and you probably want to pull off all those crazy combos to feast your eyes with all the acrobatics and stunts performed by Dante and the boys. And as you can imagine, it's way comfier and more satisfying when using a controller. Just try to compare it. And there you have it. Our 10 propositions for PC games that play better with a controller. How'd you like it? Do you agree? Or do you prefer to play those games in some other way? Or maybe you have some experience to share about how you play your games? Either way, feel free to drop a comment. Thanks a lot, and see you next time.